Kirkby. Our top story tonight on BBC WM. Unemployment across the West Midlands has fallen by 19,000. So that means 228,000 people jobless between January and March, according to the Office for National Statistics. That's 8.5% of the people in our region. Nationally, the number of people out of work dipped by 45,000, but more people than ever, by the looks of it, working part-time because they can't find a, a full-time job. Let's get some reaction from James Morris, Conservative MP for Hales Owen and Rowley Regis, and Pat McFadden, Labour MP for Wolverhampton South East. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Hi, good evening. Good. Um, James, how do you assess the latest unemployment figures from a coalition perspective? Well, I think there's some encouraging signs here. Um, clearly, it's still a tough environment out there, but we've seen some falls in unemployment. Uh, and the government's really focused on uh, trying to tackle this issue. There's 370,000 more people in work at the time of the last election. We've introduced the work programme. Uh, the youth contract, the biggest investment in apprenticeships for a generation. And uh, there's still a long way to go, but there's some encouraging signs in these figures today. David Cameron mentioned it, James, part-time working. Because a, a lot of the jobs, or the job reductions, seem to be people moving into part-time jobs because they can't get full-time jobs. Look, I mean, I, I would say part-time uh, employment is too high. Uh, I would agree with that. Um, in some ways, it can help uh, certain uh, uh, groups to uh, get back on the, the jobs ladder, but we need to continue to work hard on generating opportunities in the private sector for people to get long-term sustainable employment. As I say, that's why we are introducing the youth contract, why we're investing in skills and apprenticeships, and we need to generate those long-term sustainable jobs in the private sector. That's how we're going to get out of the situation that we're in. Some really uh, encouraging news on the jobs front this week, seeing small falls, falls in unemployment in Hales Own and Rowley Regis, as well as across the West Midlands. There's some 25,000 more people in work uh, in the West Midlands than there were a year ago. We've still got a lot more work to do, but these are encouraging signs. Uh, I'm hoping to organise a jobs fair in Hales Own and Rowley Regis at the end of July. So my focus over the next few months is very much on uh, generating new jobs, helping people back into work. We're focusing on apprenticeships in order to get the skills that we need in order for people to be able to get the jobs that are out there. It is tough, but there are some encouraging signs at the moment of movement in the, in the labour market. James Morris. Speaker, there are 25,000 more people in work in the West Midlands than there were a year ago. Yeah, yeah. But one of the key problems for people getting into employment is affordable and accessible childcare. Uh, could we have a debate on what the government is doing to improve accessibility to childcare so that people and families can get back into work? Leader of the House. This is an important issue. My honourable friend will know we've increased the entitlement to free education and care for three and four year olds to 15 hours a week and extended it to two year olds where they are. Uh, disadvantaged. He will also know that under universal credit, and I'm delighted to see my right honourable friend, the Secretary of State, uh, here, there will be greater support for childcare when we remove the so-called 16-hour rule and uh, <clears throat> enable those working less than 16 hours to access uh, childcare under universal credit. And as you can see, there was quite a robust debate in the House of Commons last week in the Queen's speech uh, on jobs and growth. Uh, Deputy Speaker, I'll give way. Way. Wouldn't he agree with me that economic policy is about credibility? And wouldn't he have more credibility? It, wouldn't he have more credibility if he was to come here today and tell us how he was going to cost his so-called plan for jobs and growth? Yeah. I've just um, come back from reading to some preschool children at Hasbury School in Hales Owen. Um, as part of a campaign to promote the pleasures of reading and storytelling to young children. Uh, it's really important that kids get the opportunity to read, be read to and to listen to stories at a very early age to improve their, uh, their understanding and to improve their literacy. And it was a great pleasure to go down to Hasbury School to do this uh, this morning.